You're here because you're working on a vehicle that has an emission failure. Your baseline tells you that NOx is high. Remember, you may find multiple problems when diagnosing any emission failure, so use your baseline readings to measure NOx reductions to verify any and all repairs that you make. Check the basics first. Things like engine overheating. Check the cooling system. Check the radiator's airflow. Check the engine fan operation, the thermostat, and the radiator cap. Check exhaust back pressure. Check the exhaust system for excessive back pressure. Go to back pressure testing. Check for EGR flow. If it's low, go to EGR testing. A lean running engine will cause NOx to be higher. A lean mixture reduces NOx converter efficiency. Diagnose and repair any lean condition. Go to fuel injector and fuel pressure volume testing to make sure that you're getting enough fuel and don't forget to go to vacuum leak testing to make sure that you're not causing your NOx by a simple vacuum leak. A bad catalytic converter can cause emission failures. Measure the NOx during wide open throttle operation. You're at full rich condition then. With a full rich mixture, the NOx produced by the engine is at its lowest and the NOx converter efficiency is at its highest. So if NOx is high at wide open throttle, go to catalytic converter testing. You will now be returned to the test selection menu and make a selection based on your test results. 